place to go. Hi guys, Mr. Space reporting for duty. I hope you're excited for this new episode and I hope you're not gonna dislike this video because I have transfer listed Voyager Chesney. Look, we're in a bit of a rebuild. We're trying to do a nice cheeky rebuild. We've already sold Alexandra. We've already contemplated selling Quadrado. We've already sold someone else. I don't remember already. They're long gone. They're not in my memory. We sold... Man, I can't believe we sold... <laughs> it's not my fault. We sold Danilo. We sold Rabio. Why is this guy any different? Well... <sighs> Mattia Pirin is doing amazing and this guy had a bad game against Spezzi. That was really his first appearance for us and he does this and I'm just kind of just for 200k a, a week, you know, if I can get some money out of him, I'm going to be very happy. But there's just, mm, just something about him that does not make me feel confident. But, you know, if Perrin would have played bad, I probably would have sacked him, but he hasn't. Since the game, since the Ajax game, we've gone on a very, very good win streak. And we only lost one game, and unfortunately, that was a very, very important game. But we also won some very good games, and thanks to Mattia Perrin, very good stuff. So, first game back was against Sassuolo, who beat them 2-1. Very good performance by Vlahovic, once again, who's doing very good. Mattia Perrin had an alright game, but, you know, we trust the man. Lost this game here, and Mattia Perrin did alright, so, you know, kind of remember it. This game was just absolutely boring i i'm really glad i didn't show it it would have just been me sitting there doing nothing both teams did not even try to do anything we had control of the ball but borussia didn't even want to try and get it back they scored one they were happy to sit back and uh counter yeah so unfortunately that was the case leaves us not in a good position but we bounced back very nicely from a penalty in the 81st minute by milik who by the way is actually very good and if you could take a look we could buy him for 55 to 65 million to which i said well, that's a little bit stupid. Until I check the contract. Six million. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the second I'm given some money, I'm buying him. Because 28 years old, very, very good, basically. <laughs> beautiful finishing, beautiful mentals, good work rates. The man has no weak spots really as a striker. And he's a very, very good backup for Vlahovic and Moise Keane. So I'm really, really happy with him. Six million, easy. Next signing, you'll know. Right. Cremonese 4-0. Matias Sule scored a very beautiful goal, which I will actually show, and it won, I think, goal of the month. Let me just show you. It was beautiful. Um, yeah, it was just beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, I think it was actually the first goal. So, look at this curler. Just puts the ball down, lays it off. Absolute beauty. Sule is good, and hopefully we'll see a little bit more of him. Uh, Fagioli scored as well, very rotated squad, and Matei Perrin, once again, 7.6. So you're beginning to notice why I'm more confident selling Chesney. In the Champions League, we've managed to beat Maccabi Haifa 2-0, and to be fair, I am might have been a little bit more clickbaity than I intended to. Chesney did alright, he's had some few games here, he's had a very good game against um, uh, Haifi, and I'd given a chance next game, and he's done very well against Fiorentina, 7.5 rating, absolutely incredible, very, very good performances there. And, you know, Mattia Perrin, I've given him a chance again because I was thinking maybe Chesney is going to be the man leading the line sort of thing. And he's done well again. And, you know, I just alternated until this weird thing with Spezia. I give Chesney, that was his last chance. And <clears throat> just not again. And to be fair, Mattia Perrin, 7.6 rating in his next game. That's it. I was like, you know what? Against Atalanta, a team who's actually going to be challenging us for the title or in there and about. You just can't. You can't. He's he's an amazing keeper. That's it. That's the decision. You know, we'll be looking for someone younger to kind of be the backup to Perrin. But for now, he's on lower wages. He's a good keeper. And if I can actually compare him, you may be a little bit more sold. Like, they don't look too bad. The eccentricity helps a lot, you know, as a sweeper keeper. But his mentals are better. His um, speed is better. Maybe aerial distribution is not particularly the best. But you have three huge center backs anyway. So you don't need the aerial presence. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. T tell me in the comments. Who do you think? Do you think I should stay with Chesney or Perrin? I honestly think Perrin will be fine. And especially if we get someone younger for the future. Absolutely perfect. And finally, a game against Brianza. 1-0. Uh, well, we scored a penalty. Nothing interesting happened. Perrin saved us from an embarrassing loss. That's pretty much it. That's all I have to tell you guys. And with that in mind, we are going to be playing Borussia Dortmund. Because the group is very open. So Dortmund have qualified. Uh, Ajax is not doing particularly well, and if we, we just want to, we kind of hope that Dortmund don't play well against us this time, because 
The thing is, if we lose to them, I'm pretty sure they'll be so relaxed against Ajax that Ajax will win, and I don't want to start this in Europa. But at the same time, I like the Europa music better, so we'll see. But hopefully, I will win. Right, let me show you the tactics. So this is the team selection, and we've changed a few things since you last saw us. First of all, Vlahovic is no longer the complete forward. I feel like complete forwards just disappear from games, and as an advanced forward, he might do something better there. He'll be more of a spearhead, which what he is. Maybe, potentially, I'll switch one of them to pressing forward, either Milik or Vlahovic, but for now this is fine. And in terms of Di Maria, uh, I found that he's better when he roams from position, because when I've had him on advanced playmaker central, he kind of disappears. And to be fair, it's kind of a trend I've seen last year and this year where... The advanced playmakers in midfield here are not really good, and I guess that's kind of something you see in the real world as well, but I just, I don't know where else to put him, okay? I'm sorry, I can put him on the wing, but then he'll interact with Cuadrado. I don't know. If you have any ideas, hit me up, but we have Chiesa. He's coming back. The man is almost ready. I am so excited. This will be absolutely amazing, but oh, let's do the Champions League stuff. Let's go. Ah, what a beautiful, beautiful noise is playing in the background. Hopefully it's not being absolutely too loud. They're playing with Royce up front and Ademi on the right. That's very interesting. But apart from that, a very, very normal position. Apart from Sule on the right, it's a little bit weird. The music, the music is beautiful. I love it. Hopefully, like I said, it's not completely destroying me. Otherwise, man, it could get awkward. But let's see the team walk out. Oh, man, even this... I Man, if they added the animations for this, that will be absolutely beautiful. Uh, I would love it. And also, I like the fact that we now have shirts that uh, we can kind of recognize, which is good. So, what's going to happen? Who's going to create the first thing? And I'm probably going to set it to balance, just in case, because I've had that... Well, not to be fair, we're starting very, very well. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should just press them till the end. You know what? We'll press them to the end. We'll see what happens. All right, <laughs> um, half time. <laughs> um, uh, lots of things happened, actually. Um, yeah, so many shots. We were so cl yeah. No, the, nothing happened. Nothing happened. We apparently did. I maybe mess up some stuff with. Uh, I don't know what to say. Maybe I messed up some stuff with the way we're showing highlights. I don't know. I'm not happy, but nothing has happened, and yet we have an XG of almost two. I'm gonna shadow the man more, but uh, I, I don't know what to say. How, how is your day, guys, going? Is it is it all good? I feel like I should just, at this point, make this into a recap video because nothing's happening. Uh, Bonucci lets the ball go. That's fine. Um, he's gonna play it out nicely. He does to fourth. Man, this is the first highlight. I'm not even joking. This is the first highlight, apart from obviously the starting one. And maybe it's going to be a good one as Schlotterbeck saves the ball from Di Maria. Ball gets launched forward. Banucci. Di Maria wins it. Locatelli is going to bring it forward on his ball-winning uh, midfielder on support role. Which kind of is interesting because it gives me the flexibility to be defensive and a bit more offensive as Vlahovic. Is he offside? Is he offside? Is he offside? He's not offside. I just thought it was a little bit offside. Vlahovic! Vlahovic, let's go! Oh my god. Sorry, it's just because I, I... I I thought it was slightly offside. Oh no, okay. I think it was Hummels. Yeah, Hummels played him on. What a finish! Because I set him to complete forward. Listen to me, you'll get far. 1-0. Beautiful. Not beautiful. Very not beautiful. As he does this, he gets injured, and um, that is not good. We don't have the good players to lose Vlahovic like this. Probably it's good that Kiesa is coming back. That means we can kind of have a change in formation. But the fact that we have him injured is not good as Kostic runs through. Uh, okay. Why did he try to cross? He should have passed. I don't... No, don't ask me. I'm not his manager. I don't teach him how to do things. <sighs> Anywho. Uh, <laughs> okay, we just need to make sure that probably... You know what? No, I don't like going unbalanced because there's a little bit of superstition for me. Once you kind of drop back your intensity, that's when you can see that that's not good. I don't want that. Quadrado. Quadrado can't outpace Sule. 
which uh, strange Cobble launches the ball forward. He, by the way, Cobble is one of the guys I'm looking at. If I can sign him, maybe not this season, maybe next season, he'll be very good. He's a very good sweeper keeper and um, with lots of room to improve. And by far, I want I want I want to say better than Perrin. Maybe am I allowed to say that? Man, the ball physics. Mwah. Look at it. Look at it. As Mori loses the ball to McKenny, beautiful. Oh my God, Di Maria, come on, roam from position, roam from position to create something, create something beautiful as Milik is not even looking his way. Milik plays it to Keen, Moise Keen, one on one with the keeper, offside, onside. Referees uh, doing the whatever this celebration is. Oh, is that a? Do we not do VAR anymore? Are we too nil? <laughs> Update. Both goals. I, I'm sorry for not celebrating, but both goals are goals. <laughs> and with that in mind, uh, we're going to give a live cup debut to uh, Filippo Teresino. And maybe we'll actually play Wrench. Just give him a bit more kind of run out so you guys get to know him better. And actually, you know what I want to do? I want to give a chance for Chiesa. Can he play anywhere in the mid? Oh, he can. He can play striker. Hmm, or should I play him here? You know what? I'm gonna play Chiesa. Let, let's play him up here. Let's play him as an advanced forward. I know this could be a wrong thing, but it'll be nice to see him back. And I'm very happy that this kid is gonna be playing in front of you today. And I'm gonna play him as an advanced forward because we're doing so well. And we're gonna concede right now. We're not gonna concede right now. We might concede right now. Hang on, the game can't decide. The game decided that Banucci's gonna take it. Di Maria? gonna take it away man he's done a great job last time he's created lots of chances he's running by himself no one's catching up and uh, moist keen's in space fagioli 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 oh that's a little nice sprint and unfortunately he went for the goal that was for the side that was covered by Kobel, which is unfortunate we need to be careful though uh i don't want to concede right now uh wolf man he he's not gonna score again royce Roy let up a shot and a deflection and matia parent concedes and that's not good that is not good, and that's number 10 for Royce. Royce is on fire. He leaves the ball. All right. Um, what happened there? What happened there, Wolf, to Royce? Who did it hit? Oh, Terracino, that's your first contribution, mate. Unlucky. Mattia Parent could not do anything about that one. 2-1. Um, let's, just, let's just hope this is going to be absolutely fine. Six minutes. Referee, six minutes? Oh, no. And that's a still broken. Beautiful. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't do this to me. Pool manager, don't do this to me. Schlotterbeck. Ah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that was... No, no. Mukoko, no. Terracino gets to slow. Schlotterbeck, send him off, ref. No, no, ref. Go away. Go away. This is not pretty. Di Maria? Is this meant to be like stylized for Champions League? Looks broken. Uh, Ajax is beating Maccabi 3-0. Di Maria is wasting our time. No, their time. I'll be happy with a 2-1 result, to be fair. Chiesa got a run out. Uh, Teresino's got a run out. Uh, Bonucci. Uh, Mukoko. Careful, we need to pick it up. Kostic. Don't do anything stupid. Why didn't he just play it forward? Oh, that's fine. 2-1. Let's go. Not a single goal celebrated. I celebrated more for the Royce goal because Royce is a legend. And with that in mind, this is very, very good. Very good. I think... Does that make us... Maybe that, that gets us promoted. I'm not sure gets us promoted. Maybe that gets us a, um, a placement in the Champions League. Let's send a system to talk about this. And what does this do to us? No, we still need to win the Ajax game. We still need to win the Ajax game. So, what we will do with this is... We will have to play the Ajax game for you guys. And then the World Cup's happening. So maybe I can show you a bit of that. And Ajax game is going to be the absolute decider. This is going to be absolutely crazy. But anyways, let's check how long he's out for. Okay, he's out for... Um, he's out for...
so I know that I'm having a, um, a few of my, well, actually a big portion of my viewership is Serbian because I did the nice Pirates and the Glory save. You will be extremely sad if this happens in real life because this man is not going to the World Cup. This man is not going to the World Cup. And with that horrible disappointment, um, it's time to end this video. So leave a like if you wish Dusan Vlahovic to recover quicker than three to four months because we really need him. We have two huge games to play and he's probably going to be back. No, three to four months, man. He's mm, 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 not good. But yeah, leave a like if you <laughs> one like equals one prayer. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope you guys enjoyed a slightly nice and revamp thing. I'm still working on my setup. It's been a little bit weird. I'm still working on it, but hopefully it looked neater. Anyways. Guys, Dusan Vlahovic, we'll see you in three or four months. Bye, guys.